Rebuilding a piggy map can be very hard and very challenging. You could be asking yourself, what do I build? What would look good? Why doesn't my map look good? In today's episode, we're going to be talking about all the things you will need to know to make your map stand out, to make your map look good, and we're going to go over some basic cool little tips by taking a tour through my piggy city. If you want to see more piggy build mode content, tips, tricks, and more, make sure you guys start now by subscribing to Piggy Plus, tapping that bell to be notified when we upload or go live. We're going to talk about some things you should use, some things you should take advantage of, and what some great ideas for your map would be. Let's start right now. What you're going to first want to do is turning on night mode. I really consider it dark mode because of how dark your map will be. We're going to go into all the details you're going to want to learn about lighting and different stuff like that and how this night mode affects it and really adds to the ambience. We spawn below the city. Here's your first tip right here. Doing a city. It's going to be really cool and a lot of great things can come from it. I actually initially based my map off of a TV show and that was my previous map. If you want to see more of my previous map that actually got deleted, here is the card right here if you want to go check that out. Let's go back and read some of the notes though. They really add to the story part of your map if you want to make a good map. Let's go down here and read one of our first notes. This man cave thousands of miles underneath the small city in a valley is home to a superhero. I think there's one right here. Yes. It says, a golden stallion, which is Pony, our NPC that we're going to talk about later, was reportedly seen chasing a zebra in a violet gown, which is Zizzy. Another thing, if you have a YouTube channel, you can make this better. Search, and then put your channel name on YT for more info, tips, in this map. So, now we're supposedly in the vents. And we can also use the hammer, which we got We I need to find the hammer. There it is. I put it in a bunch of different spawn points. Definitely having randomized spawn points. By randomizing the items, you are giving them a new experience each time. They're not going to always go to the same spot. That's what I've noticed when playing some other great maps. Note right here. Willow told me to guard Captain Man's man cave, which is that spawn room that I spawned in. I haven't had sunlight or fresh air in forever. The sentence sounds like it could have been better constructed. Is due to the text limit. There actually is another note down here that we have that I have to read for you. It says, as of now, a pony with spectacles is stuck in a grove of trees dotting Mount Swellview. Now let's go up here. I believe that's all the notes down there. Let's actually get all the hammer doors unlocked that we have up here. Using the TSP members definitely challenged me there. So I would recommend that. A new little feature that you got, that you should use. And making use of all these little decorations. Look, I built a soda machine using this. And at the time we didn't have notes, so I built a whole sign with the name of this restaurant, which is called the Prandium, which is Latin for diner, like restaurant. I can go up here. Look at this. Use some parkour right here. Look at that. And grab the purple key. Now I believe I did add some parkour here. And I did fix it up. If you want to go check out more of this piggy map, which I'm sure you do, I'll have a pinned comment, a link in the description, and a card right now to go check that out. Since this is a mom and pop restaurant, which you may have not already noticed, it's one of these kind of bathrooms where you have to walk through a hallway to go to a single stall bathroom. Crawl through it, and up oh, we have a TSP member. We can avoid them. I think it's kitty. Now I am in the hotel. This is called Swellview Suites. So if we walk into this little hallway, we have a fitness center. I understand. I haven't put the treadmill pieces the new for the new update in yet, but they'll be coming in soon. It's pretty well built. And then down here, we have your indoor pool, which still is going to need a lot more work to be finished. And then we have the outdoor pool. It's so beautiful. We have like lounge chairs right here. And you have a hot tub over here. Coming over here, we have our bar and grill, our restaurant for the hotel. I have renovated it for any returning 
viewers. This has been updated actually a while ago. I have a staircase with the second floor now because I didn't want to use all my hotel rooms. Now, there, so if you come down here, that's the only way you can get behind the bar. And inside here is the kitchen. We don't have the orange key right now, but you jump on top of here. And so it's one of those only out, but not in. Like I couldn't jump my way back in. And that's thanks to the invisible blocks, which you should use in your map. There's also an outdoor eating area. I've done that with the pool and I've done this very, very important that we have this kind of stuff. Now we are gonna go to the parking garage. Right over here is the shops at Swellview. Almost like an outlet, it's a mini outlet. I didn't want to build a whole shopping center, even though I still have plans to do that. Here's your parking garage. Just realism, I gotta, I gotta reiterate that if I haven't already said that. Realism is a very important factor for any person who's gonna play your map and wants to get the true experience. They want to get something that they can understand, something that they can relate to because it's real, like something that you'd see in everyday life. And here we go, use the safe, use the computers, this is the surveillance area for the parking garage. Over here is the buffet area for the hotel lobby. It has the nice plants and then your typical four chair seating nice wooden chairs I have this beautiful tile right here got this nice pole in the middle a bunch of fruit baskets and then maybe some other hot items here for the buffet and then sliding your way back there you have an omelet station where some chef would cook the omelets right in front of you however the oven should be right here I had a few fans come in here help build we had our interior designer I want to make sure that you are using that team build feature with people that you can trust. Now down here we have a way to crawl underneath the city to different buildings without making contact with, with Piggy. Make sure there's never a dead end for the player's sake. And if Piggy's chasing them and the player's running all the way here, closes the door on Piggy, player's hyperventilating, where do I go, where do I go? And this crouch point will say is not there. Let's say there was invisible blocks on this counter. He didn't know where to go, unless he did some really cool maneuver around Piggy. He's done. This is our lobby area. It's, as I said, still under construction. Let's go investigate the shops at Swellview. We have this restaurant, which was actually intended to be a GameStop. It would be cool if it was something other than a restaurant because most of my businesses in this map are restaurants. Yeah, hard to believe, right? I know. And it's because they're so easy to build, very easy to understand. I wanted to incorporate this new little bar feature. And let's move on to the next area. We have what is supposed to be a sporting goods store. Now we have your basketballs, the hockey sticks, and so on. Oh, the dog creature man thing saw me. So we also have this mezzanine right here. I can't open that door right now. We have orange keys. He might actually get me. Nope, he won't. You should be able to notice, right? It's supposed to be an imitation of the Chick-fil-A logo. So if you crawl through here, I had to use the yellow key. The yellow key is a very important key in this map. You will have a security system. You want to be very strict. There are always going to be those kind of people that come into your maps, and they'll try to find a way to get around a certain key. I've done it before on other maps. It doesn't work out the way you want it to work out. So you want to have a security system. In this case, you'd be coming from the public restrooms. You'd go through the security area to get access to the hotel area. But before we go there, I want to show off Chick-fil-A. Got one table, or do you? You have, yes, all the rest of the seating for Chick-fil-A. You have this beautiful deck and nice covering. Let's go to the hotel area. So you have staircases that go down to all three levels of the hotel, except for the lobby area. And I also found out a way to build ladders. Even though I hinted it in the update leak video, we never actually got it. You can realize how big of a hotel this is. Using this open design feature, personally, I love it. And I've noticed it does take up actually quite a lot of space, but not 
as much building. And over here you have your concierge lounge. We have snacks. You have the red key here, which is supposed to be like staff only to get to the bar, which we have the wrench. Symmetry is another thing you want to have in your map. It kind of flows with the idea of realism. It's something that everyone can relate to, everyone can understand, everyone hopefully will like. Even though I said symmetry, I have to, I have to admit, this building isn't actually symmetrical. This hallway is longer than this hallway. It's pretty symmetrical. And right here, on almost every corner right here, we have your cleaning service, which is, you know, laundry, the, what do you call them? The room ladies that always go by your room. And then over here we have the in-room service. And this is like the cart they'd bring it in. Now over here, I have an, a special way, if you are staying at the hotel, to go to the stadium, which you may have seen in the beginning of my video. So with the symmetry factor come along rooms that are not all the same size. Rooms that are not all the same layout for that matter. Subtracting the rooms on the third floor, we have rooms like this. This is our first design of a room. Very cramped, but it includes everything. You have your TV here, then you have your desk with the chair, then you have the bed. You still managed to fit the kitchenette. And then here you have the bathroom. Now, if we go into here, I believe, yes. This is the bigger room. If you come in here, you have your bathroom. You have a cabinet sort of thing. And then you have the bed with the TV perfectly facing you. And then you have your mini kitchenette and the suitcase. And then, of course, the final out of the three normal rooms that aren't part of the top floor on the concierge lounge is the corner rooms that the interior designer did say. That if something doesn't serve a purpose in the map, in your story, in escaping, then just make it a facade. Empty out the interior. I'm glad I didn't fill in every hotel room because none of these hotel rooms serve a purpose. Now here is the corner suite. It comes with two beds, family style table and chairs right here. You have your kitchenette and in here we have the bathroom. Nice shower. Let's go up to the third floor. Into those hotel rooms that I was talking about. These large, beautiful, grandiose rooms. A full on kitchen with an island. We have a seating for six. Now I don't even know if there's beds that will fit six people. Now here we have the guest bedroom. Bathrooms, they might be a little too, a little bit too bright. At the end of the hallway, we got the master bedroom, the beds. You have the TV over here, which is actually just two black blocks. And then the, you have the thin wall right here, so that on the other side, concierge lounge has the TV there too, which really adds some life and detail to it. Now here we go, here's the shower. Behind this stairway, you have another staircase up here, which takes you up to the deck, which I think grandma should be here. Yeah, there she is, there she is. So it's, this is your lazy river area. We have a hot tub back here. It's not completely filled in. I need the lounge chairs. You have your HVAC units right there. You have these cool little bridges at every point. And then I think I want a hot tub or a burger bar over there. This, this building right here on its own is supposed to be based off of Planet Hollywood Observatory, which below has chicken guy shack thing. So this is basically a, a yellow chicken shack kind of thing. Let's see, let's go around the back. That's where the Planet Hollywood restaurant is. It's beautiful. Here's the Planet Hollywood Observatory. This is the one based off of Disney World in Disney Springs. So here's the kitchen. This is a restaurant, by the way. I gotta, I gotta remind you of that. You got seating on the terrace right here. And then you have a little wallplay which takes you to two emergency exits right here. You have one little screen down here, and a giant IMAX screen up here, and then even another one above that. Now there's a yellow key door. We're going to talk about that very shortly. Now, heading up the stairs, bathroom back here, single stall, obviously. And we have another, now we have another layout with nothing other than tables right there, but we also have this little crouch point. If you have a yellow key, you can plank your way from area to area. Final level, which takes you to this giant, beautiful dome. I'm going to take the orange key card because we will need it at the mall. This is like a, a staples, but it includes appliances, I should say. You have office chairs right here. Shelving units, which are supposed to include minor things. Then you have a staircase up here, second floor. I We have 
your guest services. You have laundry machines and ovens. The third floor has refrigerators and guest services. And a nice view of the shops at Swellview. I'm gonna come back up here, back to this room. We have living quarters of the family owned business down below the Prandium that I mentioned in the beginning of the video. You have the guest bathroom right here, which also has a crouch point which takes you into the master bathroom shower. There's Here's a closet, like a almost a walk-in closet. Giant master bed, bed, bed flat screen TV, which also takes you to another flat screen TV in the living room have the guest bedroom with a desk and a chair and an office chair and that takes you to a crouch point which takes you out to the deck you get a nice view of 12 e suites this is again like another weird little bar area we have this kitchen which actually seats 10 and very high ceiling and here's a pantry shelving units all the way to the top in here's your laundry unit stack laundry heading across the street to McDonald's and Wawa. Let's head over to Wawa where you can find the more orange key spawn points. You have your gas station. So we have your made to order, your station right here. Where they cook all the hoagies, sandwiches, stuff like that. You have your little area where all the fruits and the prepackaged refrigerated items are. Two little checkout aisles, which isn't really accurate. But then you have two bathrooms. Now heading over to McDonald's, we have the counter right here, which is really big actually. It looks much bigger than it's supposed to be. You can actually see the full kitchen back here, what I did to build it. And then there's the drive through area. You can actually get behind the kitchen. You have both bathrooms back here. So this is the car repair shop. So it says, when Grandpa Pig took the chance of navigating the new cruise ship, which will be coming into our map, I tended the car repair shop. And back over here, we have a door which needs to be put in. Then we also have a purple safe, which can get you the blue key. Here is your news media outlet, KLVY, and it's based off of the TV show that I mentioned previously in the beginning of the episode. Because this, it's, it's in a perfect location. It's right behind where the city hall is. I built the whole interior, hoping that it'll be used someday, but I was never even planning to have the city hall go there. And this is one of those buildings that now it does serve a purpose because a new building, a new huge building, came into place. And then up here is where I wanted the helicopter landing thing to be. If you do want to see a full review of any of these buildings, I will put them in the description, all the links for all these buildings. So I try to make this a very dark parking garage. So you have your staircase, you have the escalator, you have the play place, another fountain, make it feel all very tight like this food court, very open. And over here you have a phone store, and you have department store, kitchen displays, ovens, all these red and blue signs which simulate on sale clearance changing area. Up here you have the beds and you know couches and whatnot for the department store. And then you have Annie Ann's right here. Then I believe this is supposed to be a makeup store. Old Navy. You have one bathroom, and then you have another. We have the arcade area right out, and we have the Apple store. Here. Two restaurants. I got to show you them from outside. I wanted originally to make this whole area a plaza. Let's go into our first restaurant. It's Firebird's Wood Fired Grill. And then over here we have your open kitchen design. This is actually the perfect design of the kitchen that I wanted to go into our other restaurant, Harvest. And then you have your deck over here with the bush right here. And we're going to walk into Harvest. You got your patio out here. One door takes you into with the crouch point right here. And you can cook the food here and then slide it through to the, the bartender or the waitress, whoever happens to be here. Now we're headed, you know, the grandiose, the gates of the city hall. Now, if you do fall into the bushes, normally you die. I have a whole tunnel system. Here's the fountain. This is supposed to, I understand most city halls won't look this ritzy. So here we are in the middle of city hall. It is still not finished yet, but we have the council chamber area. Now back over here, we have our safe with, with the Mimi thing in it. So the management office, I've never actually seen this. We have an office right here, it's very dark. Technically need a wrench to crawl past here. We have a desk right here, a chair. And then down here we have where one of our fans came in and built a logo or one of my old logos of my 
channel when it was mobile gameplays vids channel when my YouTube channel was that and, was, and everyone called me MGV he he also built another logo which has piggy on it but it's covered up by the road we're gonna have to go to the stadium I think I have should get rid of this road barrier because those cars are very hard to drive even though I'm sure no one's gonna use those cars anyway imagine if piggy was just stuck here the whole time I think piggy yeah there that's a smart maneuver right there because Piggy can fit through this, can't th fit through a crouch point. It was a last minute building idea that someone told me to do. I had this space, so here's the, the main loop. You can find all your snacks. I was thinking about building a restroom, but there's still a lot of things that need to be done in the this area. This thing is probably gonna have to be re-upgraded. So I can walk up here. You can already see I'm getting a good, you're getting a good idea of it. There's Mr. P. Then you can walk your way all the way up here and so there's so many indoor features you guys got to see about this stadium by the way this is an outdoor stadium but other than that i hope you enjoyed this full piggy map tutorial and tour how you can feel inspired to build your own piggy map what you might want to add all the different details of architecture you want in here i hope you enjoyed this episode if you did make sure that you subscribe and tap the bell to be notified when we upload or go live, click into this playlist right here, more of my huge piggy map and how this can help you build bigger, more realistic piggy maps. Click down here for another related video. Make sure that you are subscribed by pressing this little icon if you have not subscribed already. I will see you next time.